have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed that all men are created equal. It is often stated that art is life. At Hope Murals, we believe in the power of art to tell the story of life through our visuals. We've had a tremendous experience with addressing critical issues that affect everyone, but oftentimes are hard to discuss. Through the power of art, we try to create visual effects that engage people both mentally and emotionally. At the Latin American Association, they are able to change the trajectory of many of the lives that they affect by serving the Latin American community here in DeKalb County, Georgia. We are honored to be here in collaboration with DeKalb County School District to celebrate the story of the youth who have come to the United States in search of a better tomorrow through the sacrifices and courage of their parents and their families. Um, I am a data-driven person and I can tell you that we are the number one uh, place for the Hispanic immigrant community uh, to get resources. We have clients coming not only for our services but asking for referrals to other resources. They trust the LAA. We have a very strong brand uh, within our community clients. Uh, so we, we are the leader here in Georgia to provide those services to the Hispanic community. Uh, this idea of uh, creating a learn, learning hub space, uh, it just really captures the essence of us being able to uh, be more flexible, um, creating spaces for students and families uh, to be supported for the purposes of re-engagement. And so I think that is uh, uh, really the, the highlight or the, the, the backdrop of why the Learning Hubs project was, uh, was initiated in the district. Day eight, my brother, day eight. Putting in the work, pushing the paint as they say. Final details, final stages, making it uh, you know, all the little things that matter that people oftentimes don't realize the layers involved in, in, the, in the magistry of, of, of Yeda, the magic of Yeda. My name is Belkis Gonzalez and I go by Yeda, my artist name. We are in the Latin American Association. We are actually completing a mural inspired by the kids of this community, uh, titled Generaciones, which is also my story. Um, you know, I came to the States many years ago and was in that same journey. My family was in that same journey of situating themselves in a new place, in a new community, you know, and, and it, is, it comes with its challenges, but it also allowed me as a, as, a young, as a young girl to see the resilience and the strength that uh, my parents had to have every day. To come all the way to Atlanta and paint a mural and, you know, and speak my truth and share my story, so it is very personal. I'm actually using my family's hands as the reference. You know, those are my dad's hands. This is my sister's hands. Those are my uh, nephew's hands. So, and I wanted it to, for my mother to be the overall energy and spirit that connects us together, which, you know, I would say uh, she would be the pattern um, that is tying everything. We have, you know, working hands, hands that um, talk to sacrifice, talk to resilience, talk to strength. That's why I named them Soy La Fortaleza. Soy La Esperanza, which means I am the hope, and essentially is represented by the youth hand, uh, their commitment to education, to, to understanding the importance of education. And following to that, we have Soy El Futuro, which means I am the future. 
and it's more of uh, the young adult hand uh, with the accomplishment of a diploma, uh, meeting their, reaching their goal and, and bringing to fruition all the sacrifices that their past generation has done. As a final detail, we have the pattern, which very much correlates with the Lion American Association logo. It's supposed to represent the timeline, the legacy that gets passed on uh, from generation to generation. I've been teaching for a long time, trying to entertain crowds of teenagers. You all are unbelievable at that. You had them engaged. And, and within about 45 minutes, we went from a, a kind of a tired group of teenagers, full day of school, to a group that had generated ideas, they had thought about their personal lives, and the fact that the ideas came from them. Mm -hmm. Everything that my parents and the people before me, you know, um, did for me to even have this opportunity to, to be standing and to walk on college campuses that I never, no one in my family had ever walked through. So, that, you know, the fact that it resonates with them as well was, was probably the most impactful part. Yeah, something that did, did, uh, did stand out to me was um, the word hope. When you said, what does hope mean to you? And then we were given a piece of paper and then on the piece of paper we wrote what hope meant. What advice would you give to yourself at ninth grade by knowing everything you know now? Go back in time to when you were in ninth grade, your first year here. What advice would you give to your ninth grade self? Um, there's something that I'm so many really better, but don't procrastinate. Don't procrastinate, okay. Yeah. Be more organized, mm -hmm. manage your time, but you realize the importance of it. I want to thank you know, the Cap County and, and Hope Murals for the availability and open-minded to work with us and allow the LA to be a place for them and for the community that we serve. For Hope Murals, life is not about just the experience, but telling the story. We want our art to be impactful, to be engaging. Through the incredible skills of our executive artist, Yeda, we have had the opportunity to share the journey of many of the young people who walked in through the doors of the Latin American Association, and particularly their commitment to success. Me encantaría de alguna manera poder inspirar eh, a, lo, a la juventud. Me gustaría que reflexionaran en los sacrificios, o sea, en todo lo que ha ocurrido para que ellos pudiesen estar en este lugar. You realize that many of us have more in common than we have differences. The desire to be educated, the desire to develop skills, and to pursue a career that can sustain us and allow us to provide for our families. So we welcome you to visit the Latin American Association building to not only come and view the art, but to experience the visual storytelling that transcends from generation to generation. We hope that you are inspired as much as we were inspired in creating it.